Hello and welcome to my reaction to the delivery of Mobius Gundam 083 uh, status memory. So, Zion, especially Simo, are doing something where they're trying to drop a colony onto the moon. Uh, and yeah, everyone has to try to stop it. As I said, I don't think that uh, it's gonna happen. Uh, at least I don't think they're gonna manage to drop it on a populated area. It might be just on some like wasteland where it doesn't really matter. But we'll see. Uh, episode 11 of Status Memory. Let's get into this in 3, 2, 1. I fucked it up. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't know this. Sorry. Let me start again the countdown. Get ready. Okay. I'm not fucking it up this time. 3, 2, 1. Alright. Makes sense. It's some crazy plan, but uh, since there's so little Zion force remaining, it just makes sense. Stealing a nuke, trying to drop colony again. They don't really have much of a choice. If they want to do anything, they have to go crazy like that. La vie en rose, which is French, which I am, and it means uh, life in rose, no, pink, pink, that's, uh, yeah, that's the color, uh, life in pink. I think it might be like a movie or something, or a saying, I don't even know. I'm seeing some song. I'm seeing a musical drama. I'm seeing some brain panties. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a song from Eddie Piaf from 1945. Okay, yeah. So I get this from the time of World War II, so that's something to do with war. Oh yeah, I forgot they have some Zion honors.
or maybe they're saving it for the final stretch so that no one has time to stop it. Maybe. The axis fleet naturally. So it's a different faction, a different zone faction. I'm really confused about some of the politics and stuff. Once again, I can't be sure whether it's me that lacks knowledge because I haven't seen the right series that came out before, or the show that's uh, that's a cool one, or the show that's shit that's explaining uh, some of the political like your stuff. Hopefully it looks uh, really cool, not just another slightly different Gundam. Interesting. Space Stronghold. I mean, it sounds like it's pretty big. Doesn't look like an asshole at all. Ah, what the fuck? Okay. Makes sense, I guess. It's true that they, they fucked up a huge amount. They're gonna tease us for a while before showing the Gundam Unit 3. I need to look up what this song is about after a while.
She cute. She looks familiar. I love the air. Something's going on. There's still, uh, there's still something with uh, Nina and a previous lover or something. Could it be a woman? I don't think so. Not from a show from that Japan from that old. I don't think so. Well, not from a Gundam show, I guess I should say. But the reaction to it all. Was I right? They were keeping the the propulsor power or some shit. Was it something else? Oh, it's uh, that. Okay, that's a really interesting design. I'd like to take a closer look. Not the fence of this, I want to Really tell much. Is Nina going to walk in and think something's going on? I mean, that's what you've been doing since the beginning. Just being older and not getting punished, so... Just do it. Oh. 
as expected. Okay, at least she's being clear, so there's no misunderstanding. It is kind of like one of the most classic uh, Gundam thing, the main character disagreeing with others, so stealing the Gundam and doing whatever he wants and not getting punished for it. He already has done it two or three times uh, in this one. I understand Nina's concern, but I think she's being overly dramatic. And looking at the big picture, I mean, what, they're going to drop a fucking colony on the moon. Are you sure about that? It doesn't look very worried. Are those special cannon? Reflecting. As expected. Okay. In hindsight, that makes all the sense because the whole point of Zeon is actually to live in space, so they wouldn't want to destroy the moon. It's the Earth that they want to destroy. Okay, I mean, make even more sense, like, now to actually still the movie shouldn't do it. That's a look. I mean, once again, it's a Gundam with some slight difference, but at this point, I'm definitely kind of bored of the basic Gundam look. As I said, I like Zion much more because they have such variety. Not impressed.
I was expecting her to get shot, did she? Okay, yeah, she did. Oof, that's kind of brutal. No blood? Oh, okay, some blood. Yeah, when they started shooting, I thought, yeah, she's, go she's going to get shot. Such an unnecessary casualty, but she might survive. She only took one bullet, so who knows? I guess it's not a bullet, it's like a, a laser. And that gave her the motivation to actually help. What? 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 What the fuck? What? Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. Is it a retarded twist or is it a good twist? Time will tell. I don't know how to feel right now. This is weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at that. Zion get the more interesting design, as I said. Absolute annihilation. So she died. Okay. Is it just giant? I guess I didn't really notice if it was maybe just bigger than a regular one. Because there's nothing to compare it to. I mean, that thing isn't even a mobile suit. I don't know what to call it, but... Okay, have you noticed that? Uh... Okay, what the fuck? That's kind of overkill, I would say. <laughs> the 
that's a bit of a kill. I mean, I guess it's like extremely good armor and maybe huge firepower, but mobility must be terrible. But I guess he probably can like get rid of it to move in the regular Gundam. So basically, it's just a Gundam with some huge attachment to it. Okay, I don't like it. It looks like shit, to be honest. Uh, yeah. A twist. To say the least. I was trying to think if there was any hint that I, maybe now I, I can retroactively say, yeah, I guess that makes sense, but... I can't really remember whenever Gato was mentioned if she ever reacted weird until, like, uh, this episode in the last one, maybe. I, I can't really remember, so I don't want to say there was nothing, it's, come out of, it's coming out of nowhere because I can't really remember. I guess you guys will, you guys will tell me maybe if you guys remember. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I see, I'm not really sure how I feel right now about that. I'll see uh, later when uh, the show is over, maybe, how they, they use this twist, if it's just a twist for the sake of it, to add some drama, or if there's more to it. I'm not sure how I feel right now. Okay, so the song uh, La Vie en Rose is about not watching the preview. Um, uh, it's lyric expressing the joy of finding true love and appealing to this uh, what survived a difficult period of World War II. Okay, so relevant, I guess. I mean, obviously. Um, yeah. I'm still with that about this twist because at first I said, yeah, no way there's like a a gay relationship like that in a Gundam show but then when she was starting to, to talk I was thinking maybe but then she said ghetto and I was like what the fuck that was a twist at the very least it made me go what the fuck so that's it's good in that way but the question will it be like will it feel like a, a good twist in the long run that wasn't just de made just for for the sake of, uh, of adding some drama to the final battle which should be happening next episode, seemingly, but there's still episode 13, so I guess next episode they're once again gonna survive each other. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.